Hello everyone. So Tesla is off to a rough start again today, down 1% in morning trading here as uh, investors are still concerned with the confusion of deliveries. Was it a beat? Was it a miss? Or did they just meet expectations? And along those lines, Gary Black here on Twitter pointed out that uh, he calls out Reuters. He says, are you serious? No investor uses refinitive data as consensus. The estimate sample is way too small. So yeah, apparently they only have like 10 different sources for estimates. Props to Gary for calling them out. That it, it seems like when I first saw it, yeah, I figured they were cherry picking their data source. I'd never heard of refinitive data before. It allowed Reuters to paint the, the picture of a, you know, a negative news story uh, against Tesla, whereas the Wall Street consensus was lower, so it was a beat, which would be positive for Tesla. And then Reuters also went to the fact set uh, data, which made it look even worse because their estimate was 432,000, <clears> so it looked like Tesla missed even further. And Gary called out both of those as, as not a good source of data as their sample size is too small. Whereas the Wall Street consensus was around 20 uh, sources of data, and then Tesla had their own consensus, which included 25 different sources of, of estimates. So good job, Gary, uh, pointing out the mainstream media not doing a good job again. And this CNN, same thing, Wall Street Journal, they were all using these kind of narratives to paint Tesla in a negative light. And next we got uh, a good look at the Cyber Vault, a new product from Tesla. A Cybertruck inspired box with integrated home EV charging. So it's basically just a storage box for your universal mobile connector kit and it's weatherproof so it'd be good for putting outside if you some people put like a post on their driveway so it'll be a good box to put it inside if you uh, for me I had my charging solution in the garage so I don't think it'd be a product I'd be too interested in but some people might put it in their garage just because it makes it all nice and neat and locks it up looks kind of cool because it's cyber truck and style inspired style and apparently right now it's only available in China but I wouldn't be surprised to see it come to North America eventually and the electric article here says Tesla appears to be selling it as a complete home charging package that includes the installation, Tesla Cybervolt charging pile, cables within 30 meters, and their foundation construction, a successful survey, construction plan design and quotation, charger installation and power transmission debugging, up to 12 months warranty on installation work, necessary auxiliary materials in the process of cable construction. And they say when you consider that, it's not a bad deal. Tesla is selling the Cyber Vault for 5,500 yuan, which is equivalent to about $800 US. And in the US, it's hard to get a level two home charging station installed for less than a thousand. So yeah, considering that it seems like a pretty good deal. And yeah, this might be good for somebody who lives in an apartment or a condo. If you have permission to install a plug, I could see that. So nobody comes and tampers with your cord or tries to steal the cord. You can lock it up in this nice box. So I do think it'll be a useful product for some people in some situations but not all situations. Like it's designed for you to leave your mobile connector kit in the box, but I would caution any prospective Tesla owner that you should really take your mobile connector kit with you when you go anywhere. It is handy to have because it, the kit itself comes with different adapters. So for example, my kit that came with my 2014 Model S had a 110 volt adapter for your regular plug, a very slow way to charge the car, but handy because where do you go that you can't find a wall plug to, to plug your phone in or what have you? And even with that, yeah, it was slow, but you would gain 60, 70 kilometers of range overnight on a basic wall plug. And then a level up from that, they had a 240 volt uh, adapter in the kit. So that's like your electric oven plug, a very standard plug that you would find even at campsites. They would have a 50 volt or a 50 amp uh, plug available. So I could use that. And then the kit also has a J1772 adapter, which, uh, You'll find other cars use that style of adapter and you'll find chargers, their mid-level chargers as well, kind of similar speeds to the, uh, the 240 volt adapter, um, but you'll find those at like hotels and, and restaurants, another handy adapter to have. So yeah, my car came with those three adapters and I, would, I was lucky enough to have two kits. I bought the car used and it had two of those connector kits with it so I kept one at home as my home charging solution and then I kept one in the car just in case and I did make use of it quite a bit so yeah the cyber vault looks like a cool product useful product for certain situations and um, I'm sure they'll sell a few of them so hopefully you enjoyed the video today my name is Evan Bertrand 
This is the Infogreen channel. Subscribe if you like. Make a clicking on the wheel in the bottom right. And thanks for watching.